when we listen from the heart. With our hearts rather than our heads, our whole world changes and becomes softer. Most of us were born and raised in cultures that value the head and the heart, and as a result, we place our own hearts below our heads in a sort of inner hierarchy of which we may be conscious. What this means is that we tend to listen and respond from the neck up, often leaving the rest of our bodies with little or no say in most matters. This is a physical habit which sometimes feels as integrained as the way we breathe or walk. However, with effort and awareness, we can shift the energy into our hearts, listening and responding from this much deeper, more resonant place. The brain has a masterful way of imposing structure and order on the world, creating divisions and categories, devising plans and strategies. In many ways, we have our brains to thank for our survival on this planet. However, as it is so clear at this time, we also need the wisdom of our hearts if we wish to continue surviving in a viable way. When we listen from our heart, the logical grid of the brain tends to soften and melt, which enables us to perceive the interconnectedness beneath the divisions and categories we use to organise the world. We begin to understand that just as the heart underlies the brain, this interconnectedness underlies everything. Many agree that this is the most important work we can do at this time in history and there are many practices at our disposal. For a, stim for a simple start, try sitting with a friend and asking him or her to tell you about their life at this moment. For 10 minutes or more, try to listen without responding verbally, offering suggestions or brainstorming solutions. Instead, breathe into your heart and your belly listening and feeling instead of thinking. When you do this, you may find that it's much more difficult to offer advice and much easier to identify with the feelings your friend is sharing. You may also find that your friend opens up more, goes deeper and feels um, that he or she has really been heard. If you also feel great warmth and compassion, almost as if you are seeing your friend for the first time, then you will know that you have begun to tap the power of listening with your heart.